the most important thing that you can do for your children is to help them build generational wealth early. Welcome to part five, the last series in the Build Generational Wealth series. Today, we're talking about opening up a child savings account or a college 529 account for your children. The most important thing that you as a parent, family member, or loved one can do is to teach your children about personal finance. Teach them how money works. Remember, Einstein said that compounding interest is one of the eighth wonders of the world. Go and check out the episode part two where I was talking about how your money compounds and why it's such a magical tool to build generational wealth. We want to make sure that our children are learning from us. We want our children to have a life that's better than what we had. And the best way to do that is to teach them early and often how money works. All right. So you can open up a child savings account with many of your financial brokers. What you want to do is when your child is born, go and open up a child savings account or college 529 plan, whichever one is best for you. Put money in the account, put $100 in there, put $50 in there. And then every time they have a birthday or Christmas comes around, add 50, $100 into that account. Tell your parents, your cousins, nephew, nieces, hey, instead of buying a gift, just put $20 into the child savings account or the college 529 plan. The more money that goes into the account at an early age, the more money that is going to earn. Remember, when we watched the last episode, you saw the difference between someone who started early versus someone who waited 10 years. The amount of money that the person who started early had was a huge difference. It was a $200,000 difference. That's right. So you open up the child savings account. And when the child reaches age five, you want to make sure that you show them, hey, look, I bought McDonald's stock for you. This stock was part of the S&P 500. Look, also Amazon is part of the S&P 500. Tesla is part of the S&P 500. You want to show your children that, look, when you open up the prospective statement for the S&P 500, look at all 500 companies that you own. Yes, you actually own these companies because you own shares in the company. From that perspective, your child is going to realize that they are a business owner of 500 companies. Wow. That is something that is special and amazing, all because you decided to open up the account when they were young and you sat with your children and you show them how investing works. Remember, building generational wealth, you build it one penny, one dime, one dollar at a time. If you learn anything today, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, share the information with your family, loved ones, and your children. You can also go and download the Build Generational Wealth Checklist. That's right. It's an easy tool that helps you identify what information you and your loved one needs in order to build a sound financial foundation. For example, how much is your life insurance worth? What is your net worth today? These are things that you need to talk about today. Don't wait till tomorrow when it's too late. You teach your children how to fish. If your children can fish, then they can eat for days. That is what building financial education, building financial literacy is all about. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and check out the next series.